A new plan tonight announced by Governor Newsom to offer more services to people experiencing homelessness with severe mental health and addiction disorders. The proposal would require all counties to set up a mental health branch, if you will, in civil court and provide community based support and treatment to anyone who needs it. It's a busy news day. Thanks for joining us here at five. I'm Tony Lopez and I'm Elizabeth Kling. Our news is also streaming live on CBS News Sacramento right now. People who don't want this treatment, though, can be forced to take the help. Let's dig into this. CBS 13's Madison Kiwi is live in Sacramento downtown getting answers on the cost, both financially and emotionally, Madison, for some families. Absolutely. That emotional cost, you know, to be part of this program as it's proposed, you can be recommended by healthcare professionals, social outreach workers, and members of a family. And that is a tough conversation. And some parents that we spoke to last year are sharing their journey with us with their own son. We don't realize. Karen and Doug Hay haven't seen their son in more than a year. They found out where he was last July when they saw a CBS 13 report and this video about a man who made creepy comments to an eight year old girl. The man was their son, Matthew Brower. Honestly, the first words were like, oh, shaving cream out of my mouth real loud. And I yelled to her because she was in another room. Come here now. Matt's on. He's on TV. They were thankful to see him alive, but heartbroken to see how he's living. Last year, Karen explained. Matt's diagnosis is he's been diagnosed with schizophrenia and bipolar one. Now today, the governor's proposed plan to add more mental health resources for those like Brower and his parents aren't convinced court ordered treatment is the answer. Like for our son, he doesn't even know he had a court date. So how is he supposed to know he has a court date? How is he going to get to court? You know, who's going to make sure he's taking his meds? They say as parents, they feel helpless and wonder how this proposal would really make a long term impact. You're, as a parent, you want to help your child. You want to take care of your child. But, you know, there's this thing that says it's their right to make these choices. It's their right not to take medicine. Those concerns about the obligation for treatment and possible criminal charges if refused addressed by Sacramento Mayor Daryl Steinberg one on one with CBS 13 today. Rights and obligations need to go together. And I know there's a lot of focus on mandating people to take the treatment, but the more significant piece of this is requiring the government to provide it in the first place. Now, earlier today, the state's top doctor said if this proposal is approved, it could help anywhere between 7,000 and 12,000 people statewide, and they do not all have to be experiencing homelessness.